Hey guys, Mr. Mini KK here with a new series. It's going to be a set of tutorials for the game Don't Starve, a game I got into a while back, but I've been drawn back to it by its nicely done new updates. Don't Starve is an indie survival game created by Client Entertainment, a game development team based in Canada. I've had loads of fun with this game and now I want to share a bit of my knowledge with you. If you have any questions about the game or want me to go into detail about a specific item or concept, leave a comment down below and chances are, I'll eventually make a video about it. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get on to our first tutorial. Let's run through a couple things here. Because every time you die and don't starve, your world gets deleted and you have to start all over again. You have to think about some short term goals and some long term goals before you even begin to think of creating a new world. On a side note, if you do die on the first couple of days, don't worry! Consider how it would feel to lose a world after 150 days. I definitely have done. Back to our goals. The first thing you should do in a new world is to gather as much grass, twigs, carrots or berries, wood and flint as possible before nightfall. The best place and the first place you will always spawn in, the grassland, has the most plentiful supply of most of these things. Although other locations may be better for a specific item, the grassland has a lot of the stuff you will need for the first couple of nights. Some examples of other biomes or terrains are forest or woodland areas where you will find a plentiful supply of wood and twigs and a lot more pig houses, which I'll cover in another video. In the rockland or stone biome, you will find an immense supply of rocks, flint and gold. Tall birds will spawn here and only here. I'll cover these in another video also. And there are many other biomes or terrains to again be left for another video. Just before night falls, there will be a period of time where the sky darkens and your character lets you know that darkness will soon be upon you. Don't panic. This lasts for about a minute before actually turning pitch black. If you are caught in this darkness for more than a couple of seconds, you will start to take damage from the monsters of darkness until you die. As this game is all about trying not to die, or survival, let's see a way to get around this dying business. During the period that the sky grows darker, make an axe from one stick and one flint, if you haven't already. Cut down a few trees, grab the wood, and move to a location where you might be able to cut down more trees or gather more resources within a small area. Just before night truly falls upon you, make a campfire from grass, wood, and sticks, and place it on the ground not too close to anything, or it could set it on fire. If you create the campfire just before nightfall, it should last the whole night without having to be fueled. And that only lasts for another minute or so, so you won't have to wait for long. After the first night, you're on to day two. Congratulations, you have survived your first night. Here is a sticker commending you on your efforts. Oh, and remember, don't starve. 